Inequalities, what are they? Uh, I want you to take a look at this inequality. It's called an inequality because we are using an inequality symbol. This symbol is greater than. It's not um, an equation because we don't have an equal sign. We don't have a weight on this side that has the same weight on this side. This time, our weight is that x has a greater value than 1. So what this actually means, let's take a look at it on a number line. If we have 1 right here, x can be any value that is greater than 1. Now notice, I left my circle open. I did not put a closed dot. That's because x cannot include 1. Okay, this is y is less than negative 1. So here is negative 1. y can have a value of anything less than negative 1. Again, I have an open circle because y is not going to include negative 1. t is less than or equal to, less than or equal to negative 4. So here's my negative 4, and I'm going to use a closed circle because that means that t can include negative 4. So it's negative 4 or anything less than negative 4. This one is 3 is greater than or equal to p. Or we could say p is less than or equal to 3. So here's 3. We're going to close in 3 because p could potentially be the value of 3. So p is going to be anything less than or equal to 3. So anything to the left. So when we look at something like this, x plus 3 is less than negative, uh, is less than 2, this is not an equation. It's an inequality because we have an inequality symbol. What we're saying is that the values on this side weigh less than the values on this side. And that's what inequalities mean. They're very similar to equations.